everybody. Usually every other Sunday. And uh, this first question here, they think it's a maple, but they're not sure, and the bark is peeling. We take a look at the picture here. And uh, what is it? Okay, so yeah, it's not a ma not a maple. So sometimes um, you know maples look similar to this because of the the leaves. But one way you can tell is that the bark on uh, the sycamore and London planes are supposed to peel. So sycamores and London planes look very similar, but I believe this is a London plane because the the bark looks almost olive green. But one way you could tell the difference between a sycamore and a London plane. Um, the lobing's different on the leaves, which I can't see in this picture, but also the fruit. So I'm going to try to keep this appropriate, TV family appropriate, but the, uh, the sycamore has one ball and the lemon blade has two balls that hang down on it. So that's how you could tell the sycamore versus the London plane. Got it. And it's totally normal for the... Who knew? Novitina. Trees have both. <laughs> I'm just listening. I know. Thank you. It's normal for the bark to peel on this tree. So there you go. Okay. Question number two. <laughs> Exfoliation. <laughs> How many Question does this number have? two. <laughs> Sorry. How can they get this rose to bloom inside? Mm -hmm. What? There you go. Okay. So many roses. Yeah, they're, they're small, so, so you know, you grow them inside, you get, get them as gifts a lot, um, and it looks beautiful. So it obviously is happy growing inside, except for sometimes it's not bright enough inside to get them to bloom. Um, so this plant's putting on a lot of vegetative growth. Something you could do is don't give it any more nitrogen fertilizer if you are. Put it by a south window, but not right up against a south window because it can burn. But I would, if you can, move it outside get it to bloom, set buds, and then you could bring it inside and enjoy those blooms. But it is hard to get any rose to bloom inside. And remember, this is a rose, so it likes, likes sun. All right, really quick, one question here. Uh, the palm keeps growing babies off its base. What can we do? Hurry, hurry. Okay, so this is not a palm, it's a cycad, and that's how they grow. You could cut those off, but you're just gonna have to keep cutting them off if you want that single trunked one. You could uh, take them out, dig them up, give them to friends, but remember, it's not a palm, it's a cycad, but it looks great, it's happy. I don't even know what you said, but you're a cycad. All right, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. She'll be around Thanks. for the rest of the show. Get those questions in the plant lady at kmaxtv.com yes. and follow her, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube. She always it says, please watch me on YouTube. Okay, okay. All right, join me. Thank you, you, Tina Marlene. One or two? One or two?